All right, the highly anticipated matchup, main event of the evening on ESPN and ESPN Plus. So hopefully we get a whole lot of eyeballs coming into this fight. We have Calvin Cater coming in at a minus 232 at plus 190. Josh Emmett for five rounds at 145 pounds. Oh my goodness. Mason, immediate reaction to this line. Calvin Cater coming in as a big favorite. Yeah, big favorite, big fa- but but man, uh, after his last performance, it's kind of hard not to give him that. You know, Josh Emmett. It's been a little while since I've seen Josh Emmett fight. I, I think Josh is is one of the best fighters in this featherweight division. He's so much fun to watch, so entertaining. But uh, at the same time, like Cater, Cater has looked good as of late as well. This is this is a matchup I cannot wait for. You know, uh, let's let's see. Josh Josh Emmett's last fight was against Danny Gay. He beat him via via decision. Uh, but you know, Dan has been on a bit of a skid recently, so that one that win does not hold up as well. But damn, Calvin Cater against Giga Chikadze. That was such an incre- uh, incredible bounce back victory from Calvin Cater. Absolutely dominated that fight. It looked really good against a terrific striker. Uh, I actually agree with this line here. I got to be honest here. I, I I think Calvin Cater is should be the heavy favorite. I think it might be a little wide. I would probably do like a minus one eighty five to a plus one fifty five in Josh Emmett. But uh, yeah, I, I love this matchup. You know, this is gonna be a war, dude. These guys are gonna stand and bang. And uh, I do not foresee this going all five rounds. Really? Okay. This is a very interesting matchup in my opinion because. We all know Cater has got the technical ability. Technical skills, why is he's the better fighter than Josh Emmett? But Emmett's got that power. Yes. Like, he could put your lights out with one, one fucking shot. shot. Yep. Does it, Calvin Cater's chin hold up for five rounds getting hit with those power shots? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a different aspect than, you know, dealing with a guy like Max Holloway Absolutely. who will pepper you for five rounds, but ne- doesn't necessarily have that Josh Emmett knockout. Holy shit, one-punch power. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how Cater uh, responds to that. However, Giga Chikaze is a very dangerous striker as well and has that power and that capability to knock you out. And the kicks. And you the know, kicks. Emmett doesn't yeah, have the man. kicks aspect. So it, it's, it's very interesting. I think Calvin Cater, uh, I, I got to be, I, I hate this. I hate this because Josh Emmett, I feel like, has been so overlooked in this featherweight division for so many years. He's finally getting he, the big matchup. Yeah, he's finally getting the big matchup. Uh, he's a fighter who definitely deserves it, who has gone through a lot of adversity in his career over the last couple of years. Uh, this is a very t- uh, tough matchup for him. And had I had not seen Calvin Cater take on Giga Chikadze the way he did, I'd probably lean – uh, more to Josh Emmett's side, but man, after that performance, it's really hard for me not to pick Calvin Cater here in this fight. But Josh Emmett brings a lot to the table. Seventeen and two has got that knockout power. Has got that tough grittiness. Who will constantly move forward too. This guy does not sit back. He does not sit on his heels. He's constantly pressing the pace, uh, moving forward, and just throwing combinations. It's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. God, I can't fucking wait for it. I'm gonna yeah. be honest. Like I think, you're absolutely right. War. This has fight of the year written all over it. Yes. Like, I don't know if it's going to be fight of the year. I don't know if it goes all five rounds. I don't know if somebody gets a knockout. I don't know if Calvin Cater just pieces him up for four straight rounds and does another God-tier performance like he did in his last matchup. I don't know if Josh Hammett lands with the power and flatlines Calvin Cater. All I know is I'm excited, and I cannot wait for this matchup. I'm very, very excited for this one. It's, it's, it's just got fireworks written all over it. My heart and my soul is leaning Calvin Cater. I think this is going to go all five rounds. I think it's going to be war. I think it's going to be an instant classic. I think both these men are going to get a fifty thousand dollars by the end of it. I think like, like we saw Dana last night freaking out on his Instagram, going, "I'm giving both of these men their show and their win money, and they're both getting bonuses. Bonuses are going to be flying out my ass like crazy tonight." Like, I think we're in store for another one I, just like I that, agree. dude. I agree. I, I think it's going to be a tremendous fight. And I hope I hope Dana does pay uh, Glover and Jerry because that was a great fight. But nonetheless, uh, Calvin Cater, Josh Emmett. I I, I think I, I got to go with Cater here too. I kept going back and forth. I initially was going to go with Emmett, but I just think Cater is just so good, man. He's improved so much and has learned so much in his his fighting career after uh, taking on Max Holloway for those five rounds. I got to go with Cater here. Uh, I definitely think Josh can get it done, and I would not be shocked. I don't love the line here at a minus 230. I think it's a little steep, but I am going to go Calvin Cater here. I'm going to put 460 church coin on Calvin Cater for the win. As a betting man, Josh Emmett sounds un- incredible. Yes. At a plus 190. Yeah. Like, you, could, there's a really good chance you can make some good cheddar here. I just, I just, I'm leaning Cater, dude. Just the technicality, the head movement, the footwork. 
the crisp, clean boxing. I think he's going to piece up Josh Emmett. I think Josh Emmett's going to land, though. I think he's really going to test Cater's chin. Does Cater's chin hold up over five rounds? I think historically, a lot of people are going to say yes. But I don't know if he's been hit with the type of power Josh Emmett can hit him with. Very interesting matchup. Do not be shocked if this fight ends at any moment, guys. But I am also taking Calvin Cater. I'm going to put 1,500 church coin on Cater at the minus 230. Prop picks. I think this goes all five rounds. I think this is a war. I think it's an instant classic. I wouldn't be shocked if it's a split decision. I'm going Calvin Cater decision, uh, 200 church coin. All right. I think I will go. I'm going to hedge here a little bit. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go Emmett. KO, I'm going to put uh, 75 church coin on that. 